How's it going, Renegades? It's Coach Pat here, and uh, this week we're going to do a quick video review of the rowing workshop that I put on at Mountain Strength CrossFit last Saturday. Uh, we had a blast. We had 13 athletes, as you can see, and uh, we taught them how to row. We worked on some positioning, some uh, different drills that they can use in their daily warm-up, and then uh, what they can focus on as they do rowing wads or uh, race. So let's watch one more time. Um, we're going to focus on a couple people today, just the, the few people that are in the front here. Uh, Brad is in the gray shirt with the, uh, the red and black shoes here. We're going to take a look at him first. Uh, the first thing that I noticed about everyone sort of after I, I got off and, and took this video was that they're doing a great job of just being together, being smooth, sitting tall, keeping good posture, and focusing on that connection between their hips and their hands at the front end. You'll notice that they're all very connected um, and everything is moving together. The one thing that pops out to me with Brad here is just how he's finishing. So the first thing I want you guys to focus on when you finish the stroke is try to keep a strong grip and a nice strong flat wrist. So if we bring it um, through the first stroke here, you'll notice that at the finish here, Brad's uh, wrists are cocked or kinked, kind of like a T-Rex, all right, and, uh, you know, T-Rex was big and strong, all right, he was awesome, but unfortunately he had a weak little arm, so um, we know that Brad is, is bigger and stronger than that, and we want him to finish more like, um, if we take a look at his friend uh, Deb here in the back row, Deb's got a nice strong finish. Her uh, wrist is fairly flat, it's in line with the top of the handle. She's got a good hook grip. Her fingers are all the way around the handle, um, you know, locking in that pinky on the end there, and that way can, she can engage those lats and, and just keep her shoulder and, and upper body in a nice solid position as she finishes. Um, her, her friend Melissa over here on uh, just in front of her also has a strong finish. So um, first thing to pay attention to as we come through the finish is just how are you finishing? Are you in a strong position? Are you pulling that handle to the middle of your sternum? For the ladies, the bottom of the sports bra is a good uh, target point. But in order to get that, that power all the way through the finish, we need to have those forearms and elbows and wrists in good alignment and nice strong position. You can even imagine you're either you know, elbowing someone uh, that's bugging you behind you or Think about if you were going to punch a hole in the wall in front of you right out of that finish, how would you have your fist and your forearm and your hand? You want to be in a nice strong position as you come through the finish there. All right, so that's number one. Uh, the second thing I want to focus on and draw your attention to today is how smooth and connected everyone is. And I don't know if you noticed, but they're all rowing feet out. So if you notice, none of the straps on their shoes are tied in right now. And so this is a feed-out drill that we were actually doing. And they're all following Jess, who's stroking, uh, in the very front of the room. So if we keep an eye on their feet as they're rowing, they're doing a very good job, especially for 13 athletes who kind of are just picking up um, the finer points of rowing within you know, the last hour, on finding good connection to the erg and to the footboards all the way through the stroke. They're not really falling backwards or, you know, wasting any extra energy um, on the recovery by pulling themselves forwards with the tops of their toes or the foot straps. They're, they're just sitting up tall, getting their bodies over, and gradually recovering, letting the chain pull them back in versus um, rushing forward. They're doing a very good job of controlling that slide and uh, recovering. So um, that's number two. When you finish the stroke, time it so that you can have that strong finish like we talked about number one but number two keep those feet connected to the footboards if we actually take brad through his first stroke here on his first stroke he does a very good job of keeping his feet connected to the footboards um but you'll notice as we played at full speed especially on his last stroke you'll see his feet kind of come off right as he finishes his stroke and lays back and you'll see them move a little bit as he finishes here um so it's coming up. Watch his next stroke. Watch his feet come off right there. 
So if he can just know where the end of the stroke is, so he can time it and be stronger and connected through that lower body, he'll be able to get more power as long as he fixes that finish with his forearms um, right as he ends the stroke. The timing should be that just as the handle touches the body right here at the back end, your leg should essentially be engaged and your feet should be pointed and connected to the footboard. So toes pointed, quads engaged, um, on top of your sit bones, belly firm, torso stacked, strong finish. So number two is just working on keeping your feet connected to the footboards and rowing feet out is a great drill for that. Now, number three, the final thing that I'm going to draw your attention to today is when you row feet out and you actually try and make this change and, you know, you have a better finish and you're more connected to the footboards through the back end, make sure you're not pulling your body to the handle. You want to make sure you get that full stroke and keep your power all the way from the catch back to the finish. Think about keeping that force on the handle or that tension on the chain consistent from start to finish of each stroke. And if we play it at uh, full speed one more time, I want you to keep an eye on um, where uh, Deb is and how her body moves in relationship to the handle at the finish and where Jen is and how her body moves in relationship to the finish. So just keep an eye on them as they take strokes at full speed here. And you'll notice, it's not huge here because their power isn't, isn't really up, they're just focusing on technique and good form and being smooth, but you'll notice ever so slightly, right as they come to the finish, let's play it in uh, quarter speed. As they come to the finish, their seat stops moving, and then as their handle gets pulled to their body, their head and their torso almost move back towards the handle. What we'd like to see happen, which is something that Brad is doing a pretty good job of, is we want that handle to essentially have power on it, have force on it, all the way through, even as, you come, as it comes into your body. If your seat stops and then you pull your body towards the handle, you're essentially not, no longer doing work on the erg or on that handle or on, on that machine, and you're not putting any extra power into it. You're just kind of wasting time. So for number three here, the focus is to finish the stroke connected and strong. Forearms flat, strong elbows, strong fists, strong grip, feet connected to the footboards, and then make sure we're not pulling our body to the handle, but rather we're creating a stable base or platform with our legs engaged and our torsos um, braced so that we can pull the handle all the way to our body instead of pulling our body to the handle at the back end. Uh, and we can highlight that one more time right here as they finish. We'll pause it as we bring it frame by frame. Handle's coming in, handle's coming in. And then just before the handle gets to the body, the head and the chest comes forward a little bit. All right, and that is actually not bad at all, but that is a problem, a common problem that you, you do run into. Um, I just want to say props again to all 13 of these athletes who got, got their rowing together and uh, crushed it this past weekend at, at the rowing workshop I put on. So if you uh, have any questions on this, on those three things, shoot me an email, pat at CrossFit uh, or pat at RenegadeRowing.com. Um, and, of course, if you'd like to set up a workshop at your gym, um, let me know and we'll get it going. All right, Renegades, have a great day. Um, stay warm and safe in that snow. All right, bye.